Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one headed. And today guys, bringing another awesome video over here on the Carnage Clan channel. What you guys are going to be watching is a triple Moab by Carnage Swifty playing some TDM on the map Fallen. This gameplay is absolutely insane, guys. If we could try to shoot for 500 likes for this absolutely insane triple Moab gameplay, I know I would really appreciate that and Carnage Swifty would really appreciate that as well. Over here at Carnage, we're really trying to bring you guys the absolute best pub stomping gameplays and I know a lot of you guys have really been wanting to see some multi-cod come back to the channel. So this is our effort to try to bring you guys what you all have been asking for so hitting that like will really mean a lot to us but if we don't hit that like goal then that's not the end of the world just be sure to take advantage of it if you guys do enjoy this video also be sure to subscribe to carnage clan if you guys are new like i already said we're gonna be bringing you guys absolutely insane gameplays and you guys are definitely not gonna want to miss anything we're gonna be posting over here be sure to also go follow carnage clan on twitter instagram and facebook those three links will be in the description below twitter is probably the most important out of all of those we're gonna be keeping you guys up to date with all of our latest videos a lot of the carnage members have actually started to live stream on twitch tv more often as well so if you guys want to go check out the carnage clan twitch be sure to do that as well link will be in the description below and if you guys enjoyed this gameplay be sure to go check out carnage with his channel i can tell you just from watching his channel myself he pushes out absolutely awesome gameplay videos and even though a lot of them don't have commentaries they're still insanely fun to watch so you guys are definitely want to go check him out and if you guys do enjoy this commentary please be sure to go check out my channel as well my link will be in the description below right below swifties youtube.com slash pro so the commentary that i have for you guys today is actually a funny life story i know a lot of you guys are probably really exhausted of all the Black Ops 3 news and opinion videos, so I figured I'd bring you guys something funny to listen to for a change. So today what I'm going to be telling you about is the time that a bird actually got caught in my hair. So to give you guys an idea about what's going on, it's about three or four years ago and my cousins are up from Connecticut. And if you guys don't know, I live in Maine and Maine is a huge beach state. People love to come to Maine for the beaches. We have some pretty nice beaches down here. It's a huge touristy area, you know, Maine, vacation land. People just love coming here for the beach. We've got some pretty nice beaches. And obviously my cousins being from Connecticut, their beaches down there stink. So they really wanted to go and check out some of our beach. So one of the beaches that we went to was called Old Orchard Beach. It's a pretty popular beach here in Maine. A lot of tourists like to go there. It's not really high end though. It's just a fun place to go. They've got some some arcades, some good food there, and the people watching there is absolutely awesome. You're gonna get some fat people, you're gonna get some ugly people, and then you're gonna get the occasional pretty people as well, which is always a plus. But anyways, we're down there and we're hanging out on the beach, and I've never really been a much of a beach person. I don't really like to just sit on the beach and sweat and tan. That's not really who I am. I'm, I'm pale, I'm a gamer. It's just, it's just not really, it's not in my genes, I guess you could say. And my cousin kind of feels the same way, so we decided, hey, let's go get some pizza. And there's this really awesome pizza place that's right in the middle of this plaza, I guess you could say, along with some other foods stores and souvenir shops, stuff like that. So we go and grab a slice of pizza and I just order one slice of pepperoni. You know, I'm really not too hungry. I didn't want to get like a giant large pizza or something like that because I'm really only getting one slice for myself. So I got my slice of pizza and I'm walking back to the table where the rest of my family is at and this is where everything starts to go wrong. So I'm walking back to the table minding my own business, right? And a seagull spots me from above. Now, if you guys have never been to a beach that sells food before, you're never really going to understand what I'm talking about. These seagulls at beaches that sell food are extremely aggressive. They will swoop down into your face to try to steal food that's already in your mouth. It's insane. Like I've had seagulls swoop by my face trying to take stuff that's like halfway into my mouth. It's insane how aggressive they are. So anyways, I'm walking back with my pizza and a seagull spots me from above, like I said, and tries to dive bomb me and get my pizza. The problem is I have really curly hair so that when the seagull comes down, its talons actually get stuck in my hair when it tries to fly away. So I'm standing in the middle of this plaza and everyone's staring at me because I've got a seagull in my hair and it was probably stuck in there for probably about five seconds. It was absolutely traumatizing. I hate going to the beach now because I'm scared of every single seagull I see. The only good thing that really happened during this time was the fact that I didn't lose my pizza. Keep in mind, I was really, really hungry, and even though the seagull got stuck in my hair, I still did not lose my pizza, which was probably only the good thing that happened to me that day. I mean, that day just seemed like nothing was going my way, and then this seagull ending my hair? I mean, come on, life. When I ask you if my day can get any worse, it's not a challenge. It's a prayer. And of course, my family thought it was absolutely hilarious, but now I'm traumatized and I'm pretty sure I have PTSD from this experience. But anyways, guys, hopefully you all did enjoy this commentary and this absolutely insane gameplay. If you guys did, really would appreciate you guys just smack that like button. We're trying to shoot for 500 likes, like I said, that would really mean a lot to us. And if you guys did watch the entire length of this video, be sure to comment down below, hashtag crazy bird attack. That would really mean a lot to me. And it would let me know that you guys watched this entire gameplay. But anyways, guys, that is all. I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.